Hey everybody, it's Chris Loud. Today I'm sharing five abstract painting prompts to help reinvigorate your daily warm-up paintings. I'll go over the first one and show a sped up demo uh, of me using the prompt. And then I'll share the other four at the end of the video. So the prompt is called Rainforest Canopy. You have a time limit of 20 minutes. The paint colors are emerald green or the closest you have to that. I had permanent uh, green deep that I used. Cadmium yellow, burnt umber, and one color of the artist's choice, I used lime green. And then you have the option of using Mars black and titanium white as well. Uh, the goal is to create an engaging abstract painting with the essence of dense leafy textures. Now remember this is abstract, so you're not necessarily painting leaves. You can, or some form, uh, but uh, this is abstract. So obviously you see that I'm using a pen to start off with and, and make some marks. You can use other tools, other mark making tools to uh, create marks on this painting as well. So I'm just using a silicone um, bowl scraper to quickly get a background coat down and then just uh, wiping away some of the, the thicker parts of the paint. So here uh, at the beginning, I'm just really uh, playing um, and putting down some colors, uh, getting something down that I can work with. Uh, this is the burnt umber that I'm, I'm putting down now, and then I'll start mixing the burnt umber and the uh, permanent deep green to get a little bit darker shade. I never uh, brought in black in this, but I did bring in uh, some white and, and used that a little bit. So as I work on this piece, I'm focusing, um, I'll start focusing uh, more on the interplay of, of light and shadow uh, and um, kind of the, the richness of, of the greens and yellows and, and how they contrast with the darker tones, uh, mainly that, that burnt, umber, uh, burnt umber, excuse me, and uh, mixed with the, uh, uh, with the green. Um, and adding you know that that uh, additional optional color can um, kind of introduce a, a unique element to to this this painting um, and and really make it stand out I brought in uh, as my optional color lime green and that really was probably not a great decision on my part because had I just mixed the uh, cadmium yellow pale and the uh, deep green I would have got a, a pretty similar color. So um, I was acting quickly and grabbed colors and, and I probably would have would have opted for, for something a little different, maybe a, a darker blue, a Prussian blue or something to, to get a little more dark areas there. Yeah, so, um, but really this first part of it is, you know, I've, I've got 20 minutes and obviously this is sped up. I'm, I'm really looking for something. I just used, uh, I'm using a cork right now to put down some, some spots. Again, just kind of reaching for a direction at this point. I don't have one. And if you like the prompts in this video, um, again, I'll have more at the end, uh, and, and you're looking for more inspiration, I've, I've compiled a, a download called 50 Abstract Warm-Up Painting Prompts that's available on Etsy. Uh, and I'll leave a link in the description below if you're if you're interested in that. And I'm using a uh, a mop brush to to blend some of the colors, uh, and um, also like I said, a silicone bowl scraper, uh, some color shapers, um, and I'm doing this on on uh, mixed media paper. And at the very end, I don't show this. Um, I came back to it after the 20 minutes and, and played with it just for a few minutes and, and used a, uh, a uh, black Pentel point liner uh, pen very lightly and then some, some watercolor pencils uh, to just add some a little bit more shading uh, and uh, play with some of the areas in there that I felt were a little weaker. And I'll show that at the at the end of the the video, the the final painting. But I also used a, a, a flat brush, a round brush, um, like I said, a cork. Some bubble wrap comes into this here, a palette knife, and a, a brayer that I used earlier. Just scratching in some some lines with with the palette knife.
So timed warm-up paintings are are really you know a catalyst for creativity. Uh, the experimentation allows you to expand your artistic arsenal uh, with new skills and techniques. And remember, this is this is your playground uh, when you're doing these. There's there's no expectations, no grades, no critiques. Uh, just a relaxed time to paint. And each each of these sessions sharpens your skills, uh, making every brushstroke more confident. I know that that is the case for me. So don't be afraid to explore new tools, from brushes to scrapers, using your hands, cardboard. These exercises help you loosen up, and, and the more you do them, the more you'll break free from, from your own inner critic. So embrace mindfulness in your paintings, and you know, let, let intuition help guide you. And speedy creativity like this helps develop a knack of, um, for, for turning concepts into art, and with, with more speed and spontaneity. And there I'm putting the bubble wrap down. And don't forget, idea generation, excuse me, is a huge benefit. Uh, you'll be surprised how many ideas you'll come up with for future artwork. And remember these, like I said, are not supposed to be masterpieces. So shrug off the ones that, don't, that you don't like, uh, celebrate the ones you do, and then move on and keep creating. And if you like this video, feel free to give this a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, other tutorials, art demos, and, and challenges, uh, feel free to subscribe. And as always, if you have any feedback or questions, I'd love for you to leave me a comment and let me know if you try any of these. I encourage you to try not only this one, but, but the other four prompts in your next painting sessions. Each one offers kind of a unique challenge and opportunity to um, explore different aspects of abstract painting. This one was kind of a challenge for me at first. Um, so I'm peeling the, the, uh, the tape off here and then I'll show you what the final painting looked like and then I'll go over the, the prompts uh, just briefly. I also put the prompts in the description so you can read them in there and come back to them if you need to. So here's the final painting, a little better lighting and different orientations here. And uh, I was pretty happy how it turned out. It, I felt like I had kind of a rough start to it, not really having a direction. So here's the, the next uh, prompt. This one's called Storm's Wrath. And I'll just read the goal for each of these. Uh, this one is to create an engaging abstract painting with the effect of swirling winds. The next one is musical movement. The goal for that one is to listen to a piece of music that stirs you and translate the rhythms, melodies, and emotions into a visual expression. Next one, Emotion Ocean. A nice uh, poetic title. Um, the goal on this one is to let your current emotions guide your brushstrokes creating an abstract seascape that reflects your inner state. And then the last one is dynamic diagonals. And the goal for this one is to use diagonal lines to infuse your painting with a sense of action and dynamic energy, allowing the lines to intersect and create movement. Again, if you like these uh, prompts, I do have uh, the uh, download on Etsy. And uh, thank you for watching and keep on painting.